We had so much fun building our kitchen cabinets last week that we're doing it again. But different. <laughs> we're, we're gonna start on our upper cabinets. This is a pretty simple project. That's pretty good. Will that fit all your clothes? Yep. Sorry, you don't get to bring any. We'll put stuff in it. Like cereal. So our plan is to just take one big piece along the bottom. That will serve as our base. Okay, that's what it did, whatever. So that'll run basically to where our ceiling comes down. And then we'll have some supports coming down from the ceiling. So we'll pocket hole this into each side. And in the back, we'll have supports coming down. And then we'll just need to put a face plate on it. And we'll have one big box that will have I guess two supports probably in the way, so we can have three chambers. And then we'll put stuff in it. Like cereal. And a tape measure. <laughs> and a square. <laughs> a tripod. <laughs> Whatever's laying around. This is our process. We build a little bit, see what it looks like, and then decide how to build more. <laughs> it's working so far. Good problem solvers. So our first placement of the bottom of our cabinet was just a little bit too high. As you can see, our two by twos only go up so far. And with the angle, the pocket holes we're putting these screws in, we were just missing the top of it, we think. so. We're just going to move it down a little bit so our screws are going more towards the middle of that and hopefully that issue will be resolved. Alright guys, I redrilled the pocket holes in the bottom of this shelf and I lowered it just like a hair so we weren't drilling into the same spot we were on our first round that didn't work and I think it worked. Most of my screws have grabbed on to the 2x2 framing in the back. It seems secure. I'm now just drilling in the ends to our two side walls and I'll have Gavin double check my work but it seems very secure. It's also getting really hot in here so I need to open a few windows. Plus this is proof to any of you who are like you're covering up your window latches with your cabinets. We can still open the windows. No problem. Oh, that's so much better. So now I'm going to cut the supports that we're going to attach to our ceiling and then we should be pretty much done with the framing and we'll just be putting the faces and the doors on. This is a pretty simple project as long as the screws work. <laughs> so this is the current state. The bottom piece is all screwed in and then I just cut and prepped these support pieces um, with our pocket holes to be screwed in tomorrow. I'm just gonna wait for Gavin to make sure he agrees with everything I have set up here. And then it should be pretty simple. We're screwing right into the studs that we nailed our ceiling pieces into. So these pocket holes line up with that. And then this just screws into the bottom plate. And then on the walls, again into the bottom and then into the studs of the wall. And same on this side, bottom into the wall. And then this one does have a framing piece at the top. So I'm going into the top as well. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. We just finished our morning workout. Ever since Gavin starting second shift, we have been trying to wake up every morning and do a workout before we start building the bus. We don't do it every day because we're humans, but. We do pretty much every day. We do a pretty good job. And Gavin's, you know, bulking up, so. <laughs> so that he can, he can be extra strong when building the bus. <laughs> But yeah, it's exciting. We're working on our dream bus. We're also working on our dream fitness levels. So it's been good. But we are ready to screw in our cabinet supports. And then maybe we can start working on cabinet faces. Maybe, <laughs> if you're lucky. But there's a decent amount of space in here. We're should gonna- we do that, or Should we do the same thing as this? 
At the foot of our bed first. And well, that's a good idea. We can build the bed one. Hit him with the old one too. The bed one's gonna be harder because we need to do the curved end pieces on the... Yeah, and we don't have walls. We have one wall, I guess. Yeah, but on and the... We also have one up here. Above the driver's Oh yeah, we're also gonna do an upper cabinet up here. Okay, <laughs> so maybe we'll just build all of our upper cabinets. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. We already know what we're doing. Sure. That one should be exactly the same process as this one. Why is it? Maybe we'll want a support in the middle. Cool. But, yeah. Let's do it. Let's play it. Maybe we should go get a bunch of plates and bowls from inside and test it out. This guy's got some heft. It seems fine to me. Cool. shot it. We want as much storage as possible, but this is a little too big. Are you sure? So in the last clip we said this board was too big, but then it's we... It's not. It's fine. Then we decided it's not. We want as much... This is for our clothing storage. This is where all our clothes will be. So we decided we wanted as big as possible. And if it cuts into our headspace a tiny bit, then that's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, it's going to be our foot space. It's at the foot of our bed. It might make getting into the boxes at the foot of the bed a little bit harder, but that shouldn't be something that matters all that much. And so... Yep. We're going to be living in a tiny space, so there's going to be some awkward bits that we're going to have to learn to live with. And that's okay. Yeah, but... I'm gonna maybe want to bring a pair of pants and a sweatshirt yeah. when we start traveling. <laughs> so. so more yeah. clothing storage is good. <laughs> All right, well, we're ready to do the same thing we did in the kitchen. We're just gonna pocket hole, screw it into the framing pieces in the ceiling, and then do some supports from the ceiling. And then it's pretty much done. Good morning, it's the next day. We have our kitchen and bedroom upper cabinets framed out and now we are working on the cabinet faces. Wow. That's it. <laughs> so our plan, this might not be the normal way to build a cabinet face, but we've never done it before, so we don't know what's right and what's wrong. But our plan is to basically create this big rectangle that will cover the whole cabinets and then cut out a hole yeah, for each door. Yeah, basically the same thing we did at the front and back for those shelves we're gonna do here. Then we'll just make cutouts and we'll have little doors that fit over each cutout. Seems Great like job. A good way of doing it to me. Lift it back up, I didn't get to see it. Uh, wow. Or should it just be one giant door? This is the door, that's it, and then it just opens and closes. <laughs> that's pretty good. Cereal box. <laughs> A can of beans. Ha, <laughs> you're all beans. <laughs> all right, the face is on. Upper cabinet round one. Time to do upper cabinet round two. So for the back cabinet, we're going to start by screwing in this faceplate at the curve. Can you hold this? 
We're gonna start by screwing that in to our framing. Gavin just put a couple pocket holes in the framing so that we can screw that in from the inside. And then we'll measure the front face. Wow. It looks good on camera. Does it look good in real life? Yeah. It looks good in real life. Will that fit all your clothes? Yep. Sorry, you don't get to bring any. It's okay. We'll get more views that way. That's our upper cabinets. Yeah, there's just one more that we'll need to do above the driver's seat, but we can't really do that until the wall behind the driver's seat's in, and we still need to paint that before we put it in because we won't be able to access it. So a little chain reaction still needs to happen there, but our kitchen and bedroom have upper cabinets for storage. And they look so good. We'll still need to do doors, obviously. We might do doors next week. We might not. We might skip ahead to gray water system because we just got our gray water tank in the mail. Who knows? Mm -hmm. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And we'll see you then. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Love, Love you. you.